All right, so we went on a trip yesterday to see my nephews that had gotten in a tragic car accident on July 4th. Um, basically, they just barely got home from the hospital. They're, they're home now. Uh, I'll show you guys some pictures during this video or whatever and a little bit of the drive down there. But I, but I was thinking, you know, because yesterday before we went, I had... Um, you know, got in touch with somebody to uh, to to sell the 7900 XT. So I've I've decided, you know, to sell the 7900 XT after after oh, over a year of having that GPU, and it's probably the one and only GPU that I've actually been sentimental about. That I'm like, man, do I really really want to get rid of this one? Um, and you know, after after having you know the 7900 XT X now for. For just over a couple of weeks i i freaking I, I love this card and that got me thinking you know because i i recently have been doing a whole bunch of stuff with sound and you know obviously video quality you know buying like a new camera and you know getting getting more camera gear and stuff like that and you know my friends that got me thinking that got me thinking i'm like you know, because well, here, here, here's the here's the thing. This is this is the whole reason why you probably showed up. It's because you want to know the fate of the 4080 Super, because that's what was in the comments or in, in the in the thing. So I had uh, so I after I take the 7900 XT out so that I could get it ready to go meet this guy um, today. I'm actually going to go meet him here in probably another hour or so or whatever to sell him the 7900 XT. It got I got thinking. I'm like. Okay, so last night after I pull it out, I'm like, hey, you know what? I haven't put the 4080 in there in a while. It, it, it's been a while since I've had the 4080 Super in there. So I was like, all right. So I stick it in there. I, I, I get everything, you know, all downloaded and, you know, everything all deleted, all of that stuff. Get, get it all set up, you know, and, you know, get get everything going, you know, before we, before we leave to go to go see the boys. And we're going down there you know and then we you know I, I start taking all these photos and stuff while we're there at the at the at the home at the home at the homecoming party for the boys i take my i take my sony fx30 down there with me and i got you know the the ev10 with me too and you know i got my daughter taking pictures you know and you know because we, we were like dang we want to take some pictures for the family and you know i mean after after an incident like that you just you it, it's so surreal you just you just find yourself in that situation of like damn we almost lost all these family members you know and just for them to be okay you, you just you just kind of put that you know you so so you want to capture that moment you want to you want to capture that moment with with extended family around and a whole bunch of family there and I, I just wanted to do my part take my really nice camera down there take a whole bunch of pictures for them bring them back you know start you know like get it all color graded and worked on you know um just you know i even spent like extra money as last night to try to get like the um, some really good uh, photo editing software, or not photo editing, but photo developing software and stuff so that I could, you know, like really make the picture stand out and pop better than anything you could do on your phone. And so we get down there, you know, we, we, we take all the pictures, we spend all the time with the family. Um, I take them that, take them one of them racing wheels so that the boys can play around with that um, when, when they start feeling a little bit better and stuff. And we're, we're, uh, we, we come home. Okay, and and it's late by the time we get home. It's like it's like ten o'clock. Like ten o'clock is kind of late for us, you know, because we're we work full time jobs and stuff. And so normally we're usually in bed by like you know ten o'clock, midnight, whatever. And so I'm sitting here last night on the forty eighty super, and um, and 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 I'm I'm trying to edit these photos. I'm trying to you know color correct and color grade and. Cause I shot everything in raw, like raw. Well, I mean, I have a JPEG, you know, backup or whatever, so I could just, you know, have the JPEG there as well. But I'm shooting everything raw, and and I'm looking at all of these photos, you know, playing back on the uh, on the 4080 Super. And I mean, I've I've obviously shot in raw and went outside and and used the AMD experience on this as well. And this is why I decided, I was like, man, I'm going to put the 4080 Super back in there because I know I'm going to go take all these pictures, so I'm going to come back and everybody just screams about NVIDIA just being the best about everything. So I was wondering, you know, I was like wondering if maybe a Sony camera and a 4080 Super would, would deliver a better experience in, in after and post, you know, being able to do this. <laughs> My gosh. My gosh, my friends. So I, I, 
to have the 4080 Super. I mean, if you look behind me, you can tell that the 7900 XTX is back in there firmly, back in there. Um, and so I get here, and I'm sitting here last night, and I'm up till like 2, almost 3 o'clock in the morning, playing around, editing these photos and stuff, and I just can't seem to get that look that I was able to get very easily on my 7900 XT. And so I'm like, maybe there's something, maybe there's something wrong. So I, so I, so I stopped doing that. I, I'm just like, you know what? I'm tired. I've been up since like five o'clock th 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 in the morning. So I'm going to just go to bed. So I wake up today and I jump back on and I, and I start to, you know, I've been up since five o'clock in the day and I jump back on. It's, it's already like noon and I jump back on and I, and I start playing around with it, you know? And, uh, I'm like, man, I just, I cannot seem to get like that color grading right it just it's just not working for me on this on this nvidia gpu like i'm and, and I'm, maybe it's not the nvidia gpu but i could easily get to where i wanted to be on the amd gpu like zero issues i didn't have to watch 10 videos to do this or learn anything so so it got me thinking and this is what i was thinking i was like dude i could probably get like eight nine hundred bucks for this nvidia gpu right now if i just sell it I could buy a new lens, I could get a new memory card, I could get everything I want for my camera experience. And, <laughs> I'm like, trust me, man, the camera rabbit hole can keep going and going and going because there's like batteries you can attach, there's like rails, there's like this whole kit. Like, you can literally build out these things into like these big old giant rigs that, that are, that are, you know, you see them running around filming movies and stuff with. And I don't know if I need something that extreme, but... <laughs> I, I just, I guess I don't know if I, like, I don't care about NVIDIA. Like, I don't care about DLSS. I don't care about any of that other stuff. And if this GPU could make that that picture workflow go faster or be better or, or give me something, NVIDIA, in something. I, I, I hear a lot of people that come to the comment section and they tell me how, how, how much in love they are with their NVIDIA GPU. But, it, but then I, every time I put mine in, I scratch my head and I'm like, why? Why, 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 why do you love this? Like, like, what is there to love about it? I got off. I put in Witcher 3 today and I'm looking at Witcher 3 and everything just looks like it doesn't look good. Like it doesn't look good. I put in the AMD card. I, I tried on the 7900 XTX after and I'm like, gosh, damn, that looks good. Rich tones, beautiful looking freaking, you know, texture and everything. It just, it looks fuller. It looks denser. It looks realer. You know, I put in I put in Horizon Forbidden West, and I and I go through and I do all I get I I play with all you guys little, uh your your little uh what do they call them the um, uh, gosh dang it what do they call those things man the uh, the reshade things the the little uh you know I get in airplay with digital vibrant stuff like that I, you really have to like stop and turn off your game you you can't even use that shit with HDR are you kidding me really like how 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 is it that you guys think that Nvidia is so much better and it's just worth this premium. And like, yeah, the one thing I will give it credit though, I did turn on cyberpunk today and I've been doing this cyberpunk stuff for a little while with you guys talking about like, yeah, the, 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 you could play it at like ultra performance. Well, I had cyberpunk in there, a freaking native freaking resolution, the 3440 by 1440p with everything turned on with ray, ray tracing and, 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 uh, frame generation and all of that. And by God today, guys, I actually saw that and I was like, gosh, dang, this looks good. <laughs> it looks way better than what it looks like on AMD. And I'm just like, this looks great. But then I'm like, I don't even care about this game anymore. This game is so damn old, I just don't care about it. Like, do I, what, do I is, is it even something I'm interested in playing right now? And I'm like, no, like I'm not interested in playing that game right now. Is there another game that could come out and, and truly look that magnificent on the NVIDIA GPU? I don't know, man. We haven't really gotten one since um, Alan Wake 2, and the next game we're supposed to be getting Black Myth Wukong. Uh, is that even a game that I'm going to care enough about to play? I, I don't know, but... Man, I can't keep hanging on to a GPU waiting eight, nine months for a ray tracing game to come out because there ain't nothing you're ever going to do to convince me. I absolutely love the way the AMD cards look. I, I do. I love it. it. It's easier for me to use the features. I can click on AMD's fluid motion frames. I know you guys try to say that. Oh, it is. 
I literally tried Witcher 3 today with NVIDIA's DLSS and their own damn frame gen. And it was nothing but a stuttery mess. It was just frame pacing, frame pacing. I got back in on the AMD card today and I was like, okay, let's try this. Smooth, butter smooth, looked incredible. Just played like I remember, it just feels like I'm gliding through air. I don't get it. I don't get it. Either I just have the worst luck with NVIDIA GPUs ever, like they know exactly when I go to buy one, they're gonna be like, all right, make sure it's a terrible experience. But I don't feel that way because there are other games where it works just fine. Like Cyberpunk 2077 felt just fine. I mean, it felt, it feels like, I mean, obviously you can tell it's got the frame gen, but I mean like 80 frames a second of frame gen, whatever, it didn't feel terrible. You know, playing some Horizon Forbidden West on it. That game feels freaking not good either. It kind of feels like it hitches. I'm like, what the hell is going on? I throw in the AMD card or I even turn on freaking AMD's fluid motion frames with that. And oh my gosh, it feels better all of a sudden. The NVIDIA one doesn't feel as good to me. It just doesn't. I don't know, man. But I, I get it, dude. There's an army of people out there, like 90% of people out there. Or 80% or whatever the market share is of people that uh, most of these people got 3060s, bro. They're not even using, they're not even using ray tracing. These guys are using bare minimum. These, these, these guys are rocking bare minimum. These guys are using DLSS just to play at 1440p, running out of VRAM. You know what I mean? Like that is a compromised experience. If you think about that. If you really think about that, most of these people are playing on a GPU that can't even utilize these features that these NVIDIA guys are always screaming about. And then when you have the money to get a 4080 Super Experience, I mean, they're like, they're just telling you, no man, you spent so much money, you should just get a 4090. That's, that's an extra $600, man. That's the price of this camera. This camera, guess what? Guaranteed 4K. 60 frames a second guaranteed 4k 140 frames a second and just to top it off it shoots at 6k and then down samples to 4k <laughs> guaranteed every single time like no dlss needed nothing i get to provide you 4k native footage every single time at 60 frames a second i get to do that for you for the same price of paying for a GPU that might do it, might not do it. Let's let's face it, guys. 4K is pretty heavy. 4K is pretty heavy to run on a video game. It's pretty. There, there, there's a lot of power that goes into that. 4090 is barely able to do that. I mean, I do, I do still, I do still agree that if you have to have that 4K experience, your best bet's probably Nvidia because it, the DLSS really does like make the picture sharper but i don't like it i don't like it i was sitting here trying it today with uh, with with these games that I, that I was talking about cyberpunk i mean uh, dude i don't care for 4k i i don't like you literally have to use dlss and then when you use dlss it just i i don't like that look guys i like that fuller denser look and <laughs> You know, I'm thankful that on the 4080 Super, you don't have to use that on a 1440p monitor, but my gosh, man, I'm, 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 I'm sorry, guys. In my two and a half years of PC gaming now, like, I think I am firmly at 1440p, and I am firmly AMD. Firmly, I, I'm pretty, it's pretty firm, guys. Like, I'm, I'm pretty firm. Now, I mean, obviously... I, I, would, I would definitely try things. I'm, I'm not like I'm not like oblivious and stupid and just would sit there and be like, yeah, man, I'm never gonna try that. I would definitely try Nvidia again. Like I, I don't have a problem with with trying their things, and I do think that you know 4K is your thing. I'm not saying that AMD can't do 4K. It can, and it looks generally pretty dang good most of the time. But if if like a little bit of like fuzziness or flickering or some of that kind of stuff with fsr is gonna bug you man like i don't know if you're gonna like it because amd kind of looks a little bit softer at 4k because of the when you have to use fsr and i'm okay with that like i would probably even rather play 4k on the amd card than i would over playing it on nvidia with it being all just sharp and crisp i don't 
I don't know, man. Not even, not even these videos, not even these videos when they come out that I'm doing at 4K that are being downsampled from 6K look as sharp as that stuff does on, on video games. I, I don't, I don't know what it is about like video game pixels and being super sharp. I don't, I've never liked it. I've, I've always kind of turned down my, my sharpening on my TVs too, just so that it wasn't super sharp. I, I, yeah, I don't know guys. I don't know. Maybe I am just crazy. Maybe I am just crazy. Maybe, maybe, I mean, like I have a different, I have a different desire for video games. I, I just want, this is what I want. This is, this is all I want. And, and maybe this will be my quest from now on. It's just my quest for how to get the best gaming experience possible. I just want it to look good on a 1440p monitor. I just, I just want OLED. I love OLED. I like the inky blacks. I like the freaking high color gamut. I like that. Don't necessarily care for the freaking really high highlights, but I do like my, my, my dark, my dark colors. I do like that. Um, and maybe that's why I like the, the matte freaking OLED. Maybe that's why I like the matte OLED. It kind of adds to the immersion of what I've already got going on that I like. It, it, it's, it's a tool in the toolbox to help me get to where I, I like, you know, a little bit blurry image. Not blurry, just soft. I like soft. I like that soft image when it comes to my video games. Um, I, I kind of help it feels like it makes them, in my opinion, guys, the AMD side of things, like the, the, the 3D imagey just stands out better to me. It just, like when I'm looking in the scene, I see things in a 3D space a little bit better when I'm using AMD. When, when I'm using... When I'm when I'm using you know Nvidia, it's almost like it's almost like it goes two two D versus three D, and and that's weird. Like I I don't know how to explain it, but most people like that. And for some reason that that catchy sharpness just is whoa. It 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 like the first time I saw it, second time I saw it, fourth time, fifth time, fifteenth time I've seen sharp crisp four K. I was like whoa that looks good. But then it wears off pretty quickly. Like while I'm playing the game, like I'm, I'm five minutes into it and I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, it looked cool at first. It just doesn't look that good anymore. I don't get that fall off with AMD when I get into the Im image and I'm like, wow, this looks good. And I keep playing it and it just keeps looking good and better and better. And I'm like, wow, this is incredible. And you, and you just keep going and you keep playing. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, um, it's crazy guys that that there's such a big it's crazy that there's such a big push to um to prove that Nvidia is the best like every every youtuber out there every everything out there all all, all the content you know is always about oh look how much better FSR or DLSS looks over FSR or they've got this feature or that feature or this or that and and it's and it's always so like one-sided and if you watch anything on youtube about gpus it literally feels one-sided i mean yeah obviously you're gonna hear well well yeah you can get amd they're the budget option and that's like the only credit that amd gets is oh you can get them on a budget you can get them on a budget so that right there would pretty much tell you that like okay well the only thing amd is good for is like a budget it'd be like you know going to buy a sony camera and and being like, well, man, you can get like the the Fiji or Fuji or Nikon or whatever, and it's it's a budget or something. You know what I mean? Or yeah, I don't know. Cause those other cameras, I've never tried them, so I'm not gonna say nothing about them. I I I, I could have went out there and bought a Nikon and had a maybe had a way better experience than the Sony. But I don't know, man. Like I'm a pony, and everybody out there is saying that the the uh, the um, um, Sony is the best, the, the, the best you can get. Not perfect, but the best you can get. And, and I like that. I like that way of covering it. It's like, hey guys, Sony, it's the best you can get. It's not perfect, or, which there was different features or whatever, but it is the best you can get in the class that you're looking for, especially for, you know, YouTube content creation and other things. And I'm like, okay, see, that's, that's marketing that I can live with. You know what I mean? That is, you know shilling that i can be like okay all right shane it's the best you've definitely had experience trying other things you obviously know more about photography and everything else because even even it, it never it never sounds like 
the they're shilling for the for the uh, for the Sony stuff. It's just like like they lay out everything because <laughs> that's the thing, man. With photography, like you're looking like your eyes are definitely going to matter. Like your taste and your stuff is definitely going to matter. So that's why I kind of feel like this whole photography thing is like really kind of clicking with me. I'm like, wait a minute, dude. I mean, like, I, uh, y you know what I mean? Like it's, it's clicking with me. And when I listen to like, cause I've, I, I watched a bunch, a bunch of different people and, you know, talking about like the difference between Sony and, and everything else. And, and like, I would come away feeling like, all right, this is what I can expect from it. These are the shortfalls. I mean, like, you, you know, like the, the, the short, the, the shortcomings of, of everything. And, and I, and I feel good about that, but you don't get that with Nvidia. It's always just like, yeah, this is the best. This is the best. It's got better DLSS. It's got better this and better that. And then you come away thinking that like, oh my gosh, dude, AMD must be absolute trash because I got an Nvidia GPU. And like, I don't really care about half of these features. And some of these are trash. If this is trash, that means AMD is really trash. But at least I can get it on a budget. See, and, and that's the way I think a lot of it comes across to people out there in the market is, wow, dude, like, because you've already got NVIDIA and you already know the shortcomings and you already know that it's not perfect and you already know that, like, half of the stuff that they sell you on NVIDIA is just purely beta features that are half-cooked it might get here, might come out, might be there. Sometimes it's really, really good. Sometimes it's just meh. And you, you buy into that hype and you're like, wow, if this is the best, AMD has to be absolute trash because this isn't that good all the time. And and then when you hear things like, oh, yeah, well, AMD is a good on a budget or you got VRAM. For people to be so delusional to think that, yeah, man, I'm just going to get that. 12 gigabyte 4070 super for 600 bucks oh because i don't know about that better cheaper i mean that that cheaper you know 7900 gre I, don't, I just don't know if i could do that because oh man i might be losing dlss and then and then like really think about that like well you're like dude like dlss is only gonna matter if you're trying to go to 4k um, if you're playing a 1440p, you shouldn't be using DLSS anyways. And 7900 GRE mops the floor with a 4070 Super at 1440p. But if you want to try to get 4K, you know, and, and yeah, then your DLSS is going to matter. But nobody ever tells you that. Nobody tells you that. They just tell you that the 4070 Super because of DLSS is better. It's only better if you're going to try to use it at 4K. And, and it's, it's probably not even better. It's just, it's just, it's going to make your screen look sharper at 4K with a 4070 Super. Like, that's what it's going to do for you. It, it's not going to fill in the pixels or make anything better or pump up your, your, you, you'd be better off literally, I think, honestly, in my opinion, maybe playing that, that GRE at 4K and just running native 1440p and see how it looks. If it looks okay, play it. I mean, you're still going to get like a decent, I mean, you're still going to get a higher frame rate at 1440p native than you probably are going to get on that, on that NVIDIA card running it at 4K, you know, down sale. Or, I mean, maybe you probably have to be like balanced or something. I, I mean, there was a lot of games that I'd have to play it like balanced on the 4070 Super to get like 4K or whatever. But if you're, if you're sitting there and you're playing around and, and you've got like a, you know, you've got your, your 7900 GRE, obviously. 16 gigs of VRAM, um, stronger, better um, overall power. I mean, definitely going to be more power hungry than a 4070 Super. I mean, if that's your thing, if that's your thing, if you need the power or whatever, because your your 40 your, your 7900 GRE is definitely going to take more power. But man, I don't know. When I look at the feature sets and I weigh that out, 7900 GRE, 4070 Super, I weigh that out and I'm like, AMD's got better features at that price point. With what, with what you're you're buying into, AMD has definitely got the better better features. You've got, you see, with AMD, you've got the fluid motion frames for all DX11 and 12 games. You've got 16 gigs of VRAM versus 12. You've got obviously, you know, you're gonna get some ray tracing in some games, and some games it's not gonna be as good. And then you've also got, you know, just just the overall, you're you're, you're saving like 50 bucks. You're saving 50 bucks, and 
you're getting a higher quality, a well, higher tier card than a 4070 Super. I, I think your 4700 your GRE is going to compete, you know, with like your 4070 Ti. You know what I mean? Like your, your, your TI card, you know? So, so you look at that and then that one's even more than the GRE. That's like $100 more, like $150 more or something, you know? And then you're looking at that and you're like, are you freaking kidding me? What do you, what do, you do, man? And, and so like, yeah, obviously the AMD card looks like the budget because it, because it, it's, they're, they're not overselling you a whole bunch of stuff that you, they're not selling you the promise of being able to play at 4K. They're, they're saying, look, this is firmly a 1440p card and it'll do 4K on some stuff, just like your 4070 will, but it's mainly a 1440p card, but you've got way more bang for your buck on the, on the GRE than you do for the 4070 Super. And yeah, you can get a ray tracing experience out of the 4070 Super. You can. Um, is it is it a good one? I mean, it, it was, I mean, it'll it'll let you see it. Like you'll be able to see it if if you if you want that. Um, in my in my in my opinion, I I mean, I don't I don't think it was worth the sacrifice of of performance because it does get a little stuttery, guys. It does get a little stuttery. It's not like a perfect experience with ray tracing. Like no, you're gonna have, you're gonna have the same stutters and, and and frame pacing and stuff like that when you're playing your game and. You know, everything that everybody always says, is AMD is just AM dip and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, uh, uh, I think, I think it's hilarious. I, I honestly just think it's hilarious. I've been in this game for two and a half years. <clears throat> I could see how popularity, you know, people pushing back on you, you know, get you to just whatever. And just, oh, I'm, I'm, NVIDIA is the best. You know, I, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, that's, that's my thoughts on it, my friends. I, um. I, um, yeah, so I've been thinking about just selling the 4080 Super, too. And, you know, just washing my hands with it. And uh, focusing some of that money on the, focusing some of that money back into back into the photography thing. Because I really like that. I, I, I like the fact that, like, the the camera kind of frees me from having to be in the studio all the time. Like, I could, I could pick up the camera right now and I could go out and I could film this video. I could literally have been standing by the train track down there filming this video. But I'm still working on, like, getting, you know, some of the sound and stuff. You know, I, 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 I want to be able to do some stuff like that. But, you know, maybe maybe down the road. Obviously, I, I don't feel as tied to the studio anymore now that I've got the camera. So I would expect some cool, interesting content coming down the line but i figured i wanted to make this video i got some other stuff today to do today got some editing still you know with the with the whole um with the pictures and stuff that i came back with you know from from with the kids and so i've got the editing to do i've got you know like this video obviously i need to edit and put it out and then yeah other than that guys <laughs> i'm hoping that next week is going to be pretty fun i got some some stuff coming couple things from next level racing and then obviously you know that, that other will I, I did the uh, i did the version nine last night um but yeah it's exciting times guys so if you like this content do not forget to like and subscribe let me know in the comment section if you guys think i should hang on to the 4080 or if i should just sell it and put that money back into the con into the camera stuff because i don't know man sometimes i like i'm i'm worried about i'm worried about it too i'm like wow man if i sell it i'm gonna need it if i sell it i'm gonna need it but do I though? Do I though? Do I really need a 48 Super? Or can I just put it in the freaking camera stuff or buy something else that I actually want, you know? Do I need it? Do I need it? I'm happy with the AMD. Do I need it? Do I need it? I keep asking myself that. So, all right, guys, let me know in the comment section what you think I should do. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.